Hey guys, this is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Tool Time with Strider Prime. And I just recently purchased a new tool that you're seeing right here. This is the NWSL The Chopper 2. Uh, this is a, um, a tool that I've seen many people um, talk about, maybe reviewed it. And uh, I've seen a little bit of a demonstration here and there, but I thought maybe let me try it out myself and many of you are probably saying what is this well this is basically a device that will allow you to cut um, either miniature wood or styrene uh, plates to the specific size and, and, and shape that you you want um, I went online to look for this because clearly with the series of scratch buildings and, and kit bashing that I'm doing right now um, it's uh, it's a it's a challenging uh, feat that I'm doing right now, but it's also very dangerous, especially when you have a little hobby knife, either this one or or this one, and you're cutting on the uh, on on the table using a ruler to measure, and then of course you know you you can do this this this, but then sometimes when you cut, it's always not perfect, not 100% perfect, and it could also be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So, I wanted some assistance with this. Now, there are hardware tools that I do believe that you can get that's larger and and. But for for my work area, for my workbench, it's I don't have that much of a space. This, however, will help me out. I'm assuming it will. And uh, I've heard some many uh, good reviews. One of them was, uh, of course, Tim from Child of Mecca, who talked about this in his last scratch building. Um, uh, class and I, I, I've been meaning to get it and I said you know what now it's time to delve in now I got this on Amazon for around $38 it's like around a $50 kit, um, tool you could say um, but if you shop around maybe you'll find it cheaper I know Amazon has it the cheapest at $38 free shipping of course now all the detailed information is right here as you can see some more information here. There, it's pretty much a repeat of everything. Let's uh, open this up. Open up from the top. There we go. So we can all see this. There we go. Now it does come with a manual. There's some sort of limited warranty on how to use it. Please keep your fingers away from the cutting blades. And part replacements here if you want to order part. Obviously, the razor blades is the one thing you're going to definitely need. I don't know. I, I may have to. I don't know if it's a universal blade or is it a blade that I can actually purchase you know at a store but here it is right. so first thing I'm noticing is the weight it's a good maybe two to three pounds so there is some stability there with a little bit more weight on it I don't think it'll be a good idea if it's a plastic um, base this is you definitely f feel the uh, metal uh, texture on this you know and then of course you have I guess these guides which will allow you to let me see how do you open this oh, oh okay so you have these 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 little guides here so you can keep it either in that angle or this angle depending on what you want to put on let's open that up I have this one here. Oh, and at least you could see this is, it tells you 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Oh, no, excuse me, 60 degree angle. Because it's right there, 60 and 45. And this one's a 30 degree angle. And obviously the 90 degree angle. And 
if you look in the sides right here, you have specific angles, so you know which where to go. And then you have a ruler um, going three inches, three inches, so that's a full six inches right there. And then you have the um, cutting board with the actual boxes here. It's not square inches, more like a quarter of an inch, you could say. I'm eyeballing it with the tape with my um, with my table here, and I think it's about an inch per four boxes. Now the handle here goes all the way up to here, like that. That's as far as it goes, and it's a heavy handle. It's stiff, so it's not going to fall down. Obviously, do not put your hand here and use the other one like that unless you really, really, really do not want any any more of your digits. So let's try some examples. Um, I'm going to use this little styrene sheet. Um, should be this. This is about an eighth of an inch, you could say. I don't know what the size is for this, so just put it there. Simple. Get the right size you want, and then cut. There you go. An even cut right there. Nice. Very nice. But what if I want something a little thicker? Like this. This plate. Which is basically about an eighth of an inch. I mean, no, not, not no an eighth. I'm sorry, what am I saying? Um, if I remember, yeah, I think it's an eighth of an inch. I, I always keep forgetting, but it's alright. So, I'm going to cut about an inch worth. N no, I'm going to cut about two inches worth. And, uh, I don't know, you can hold it like that. Clearly, this is not going to cut the whole thing, but at least you know where to go. So I'm going to cut an inch around it, so do that, I guess. It doesn't go any further. I think, I think you go for a specific, a specific amount of space for this. Let me see if I can do an inch here. Two inches here, actually. Make an even box. Yeah, it cuts it right through, but clearly I, I need to use something as a guide to cut the remaining parts. But this is way too thick for me to cut. Not, no, correction. Not way too thick for me to cut, but way too wide for me to cut. So I guess the width is based on how much spacing you have here. You, you, this is a, technically a, you could say an inch worth of blade right here. It's not a complete cut, so for something like this is ridiculous. But if you have it cut out and shapely, shaped properly, then you're okay. I, I guess um, if I want to cut an angle, we're going to use, let's use this. So I'm just going to put it right at the tip right there and turn this. I have another claw plate that's not too thick and a small one. Oh yeah, here, oh no, that ain't it. Where did I put that? Oh, I have a regular tube. So if I put it there, if I want to cut a an angle there, that should be no problem. Let's see. Here we go. That's perfect. Good. So for a product like this for model building, clearly it's great. Um, it's not massive where you can do massive cuttings. You just need to cut the the right amount. Oh, I wasn't. I was wondering where the hell this was. So, like for something like this, if you want to cut it like a specific ang angle, that one's good right there. And then I'll, I'll cut the piece right over there. Just gonna eyeball it a bit. There we go. That's a perfect, 
perfect shape right there. So, there you go. The Chopper 2 by Northwest Shoreline. Of course, cross and sharp blade. So, for scratch building, for kit bashing, this is a great tool to cut styrene parts and maybe even other plastic parts. Um, I don't think a part that you have that has uh, unusual shapes will work. It has to be a flat surface. So that's something you're going to have to use a different type of tool. But for this, especially when you want to work with styrene parts and you want to make sure it's accurate, it's even, this is the product for you. So I hope you guys like this review of the Chopper 2 by Northwest uh, uh, Shoreline. And what can I say, but stay tuned for more tool time with Starter Prime coming soon.